In late March, I took a ride on one of the last remaining Fokker 50s in commercial service in the world. And it might come as a surprise to many that I was able to do this not in some remote, far-off place, but right here in Sweden. The airline operating these Fokkers is called Amapola Flieg, and it's one that keeps a pretty low profile even here in Sweden. It's a small airline that started out carrying the mail and has since branched out into passenger flights as well. It specializes in these PSO routes, government subsidized links to remote communities, although it does other types of flights too. Today's flight was one such route, a service from Stockholm's Arlanda Airport up to Hemavan in the far north. The flight is scheduled to operate via Kramfors, another small place, but there were no passengers heading to or from there today, so we skipped it. As we headed north, we lucked out with fantastic weather. It's always surprising how little time it takes to reach a very arctic looking landscape in Sweden, even if this was technically still south of the Arctic Circle. There were only ever about 200 Fokker 50s made, so they were rare to begin with, even more so now. If it weren't for Amapola, there would be none active now in all of Europe. These days you mostly find these planes operating in East Africa and a few other places. Their ability to handle short and rough runways and their robust construction and relatively simple maintenance procedures make them ideal for operating off the beaten track. The plane can lift a lot of cargo and a lot of fuel, fly long distances, and it handles icing and adverse weather really well. Magnus, the captain, took advantage of the clear weather today, doing a visual approach into Hemavan that required a pretty tight turn in the valley to the north.
Tugs in Hemavan are old military trucks, one of those fun details you tend to come across when you fly to out-of-the-way places. What was clear from this trip was just how much the pilots, Magnus and Thomas, loved this plane. And I could see why, even just observing from the jump seat. It's uh, known by pilots to be very reliable and solid, and uh, it's a nice working place for a pilot because it's, uh, it's a Fokker philosophy, it's, it's simple and it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's easy to work with. I've been uh, first officer on the Fokker 50 for uh, 16 years, 14 in Amapola and I've been uh, loving every minute of it. Talk to everyone, they, they love the Fokker 50, both the uh, passengers, the pilots, the cabin attendants. It's a uh, very lovable, very forgiving, robust aircraft. This is either automated or it's a hands-on airplane. Many times, like you saw into Hemovan today, visual hands-on flying, it, it's superb for that. Um, really nice to fly, manually as well. But of course it can do uh, ILS and RNAV approaches and anything you want. I trust it to, to take me anywhere. After a quick break in Hemavan, it was time to head back down to Stockholm. Another beautiful flight, albeit with some decent chop on the climb out. Amapola's CEO, Eric Salan, told me that nowadays it would be impossible to recreate an airline like this even if you wanted to. They had the Fokker 50s and all the experience working with them built up already. And these planes are all paid off and they don't cost much to operate. So running passenger flights like these makes sense.
and with the know-how the Amapola maintenance team has, they can keep them running. But that know-how will slowly go away as more planes get retired in the coming years. And there's no getting around the fact that this plane's days are numbered. Everyone I spoke to at Amapola seems to have decided to just enjoy it while it lasts. Stay tuned for the second installment in our Fokker 50 series coming soon, a visit to Amapola's maintenance facility in Malmö. For now, thanks for watching, and don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, and subscribe for more videos like these. In Stockholm for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.